Here he comes. Yep, right there. <clears throat> Little crappie on the hard baits. You can tell when they eat that thing too. He's got it right by the front hook. <laughs> now that's just a little, little crappie, but that goes to show you, you don't have to finesse them this time of year. They get with it, so you want to watch. You want to watch the attitude of the fish very carefully. Sometimes going bigger is uh, is sometimes the answer, but not always. But that's just a little guy, and. Uh, We'll be able to see here if we can get a, a nice one here. That's just a good little starter fish. Here comes one, he's gonna club it. Another little guy, that green line really jumps when they eat it. It's part of the, part of the system. It's kind of a, kind of a, uh, specialized system it's a pretty long rod and pretty limber so i don't tear hooks out of their delicate little mouths but that flash green line that's a big help i can see that line just go doink when those fish hit that bait so it's that time of year when the crappies start pushing up shallow and as you can see behind me i'm on a little bulrush bed here waters are in the oh what are we at mid 60s and these fish are looking for a place to hang out for the next week or so to spawn. And right now they're adjacent to a little bit deeper water and they're moving up shallow to do their thing. And we're just kind of intercepting them here between the bulrush bed and the deep water. And we're doing something a little bit different. We're, we're using hard baits. And if anyone fishes bass, smallmouth in particular, they know what that is right there. That's a little Rapala x wrap with a little feathered treble on there. That's a little suspending bait. And they make them in a few different sizes. And this one is working right now for crappies, but it's a very popular bait for, for smallmouths as well. Probably one of my favorite jerk baits for fishing smallmouth. And it's just a really fun bait to fish. And I get to fish it now for crappies. So that makes it even more pleasing. Right now they're pretty susceptible. They're, they're kind of guarding, guarding the areas that they're gonna spawn in and they're just mad at it. They just, they, they don't want it around. I found the other night I was out and there was one that was very locked down and I threw a little hair jig on him and he wouldn't bite it. And I threw a little tungsten and plastic on him and he wouldn't bite it. And I picked up a bigger bait and the reason I did that is because I was watching that fish and with the hair jig coming through and the little plastic coming through, I was starting to draw in sunfish and little bass. Well, that crappie kept nudging those bass and those sunfish out. And I was like, gosh, he's gonna eat something big if he's gonna eat something. And I grabbed that shadow wrap and, and drug it by his face and, and sure enough, he just clocked it. So it wasn't that he was hungry, he was just threatened. And so that's what we're doing right now. We're not trying to appease their appetite. We're trying to threaten them with loud colors and, and you know, kind of vibrant actions. And that's what we're going for right now. We're getting them mad. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yes, yes, yes. This is the one we want right here. Yep, yep, yep. There's a nice, Beautiful crappie right there. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Right there. Look at that guy. That is so fun to be able to catch nice big crappies on little hard baits. A little Rapala X Rap. And this bait suspends, so I get it down crank it down about two cranks of the reel and it's at about its maximum running depth. You know, this bait on a long cast, you might be able to get about four feet of depth out of that bait. But right now I'm making short little casts, getting it down about two, three feet, killing the bait. And those fish are sitting there and their crappies generally love to feed up. So I just suspend that bait right over the top of their heads and they come up and 
and crack it. Because I'm using this as a little jerk bait, you know, I'm doing the same things I would, you know, as I would do to catch smallmouth, you know, twitch, twitch, pause, wind it, get it going, twitch, twitch, pause. But because it's so bright in color, on the pause, it suspends, so that thing just hangs there. And if you see some, you can just hang that bait right over their face. And that's part of the part of the reason I've used I'm using that clown colored bait. Really clear water. I can see the fish, I can see the bait, I have really bright colored line. When I see this bait jump in the water, I know they grabbed it. And I can see it transmit through my line as well. So that's part of the reason for the bright, bright, loud, obnoxious color. They can see it and I can see it. And it's just really an obnoxious looking bait and it drives them crazy. Oh, feisty. That's, they come to the surface almost all the time in this shallow water. So they're very apt to throwing hooks and they have such paper thin mouths that I like using a long rod. Now this happens to be a, a Seth fighter rod. This is like a hair jig Nico Neko rod. It's over seven feet long. So it's beautiful for throwing light baits a long way. You use a big arbored spool with a lot of braid on it, high capacity, fill that spool all the way up with line. If you don't do that, you're, gonna, you're only short cheating yourself. You're not gonna get the maximum casting distance you would if you underspool your reels. So use a long rod and you can cast a light bait a very, very long way. There we go. Right where I left you guys last night. We just need some big mamas to show up. There we go. This is right where I left them last night. We just need to find the big ones. But it is fun catching a, I love watching a bobber go down just as much as anybody, but it's not all that often you get to cast, cast for crappies, you know. Realistically, this is just a little jerk bait and I'm just, twitching it like I would a regular jerk bait. Here we go. This might be the one that we want. That's a better fish. Look how he's got that jerk bait. It's a nice little handful. Pretty fun deal if you can find a nice school of crappies that are willing to play on hard baits. Doesn't happen very often, but it can be done.